this entitled lady has just started a shouting match with the manager of a store over some bottled water. But unfortunately for her, it's not going to mean a thing, as the person she is yelling at is just a smartly dressed dude and can't do anything to help her. Happy birthday, today's your birthday and on with the revamped show. Some background, I am a banker and usually wear the standard suit and tie when I go to work. I say usually because on occasion, the AC unit at my branch goes down from time to time, and our manager doesn't enforce the dress code when it's 95 degrees outside and the AC is down. On those occasions, we can leave our blazers at home and roll up the sleeves of our button downs. On one such day, today, I had plans to meet up with a friend of mine at CVS that's a little far from me, but I didn't mind the trip. It was her last day as she finally got a grown up job in finance after a few months out of college, and we wanted to celebrate a bit, so I came to that CVS a little early, so I had to wait maybe 15 minutes for my friend's final shift to be over, so we can go and grab some food. I didn't have much to do, so I guess I was just doing some window shopping, not really interested in buying anything, but did want to see what they had on sale. A few of the people that worked there knew me and spoke to me for a bit since my friend was working there throughout all of college and is friends with a few of them outside of work where our paths crossed. To the outside observer, I guess a guy dressed semi-professionally talking to employees at this CVS. It might seem like I am the manager or something since a few people came up to me asking me where I can find this or that product. Since I was looking around, I knew some of the answers so I just told them where to go and didn't go into detail about me, not even being an employee. This is where it happens. A middle-aged Russian woman comes up to me. This woman just screamed off the boat. She had a thick accent, she was wearing fake designer everything, and had an attitude like every second extra I take to answer her is a precious second I took from her super important life. She asked me where the big bottled water is. I just passed it two hours ago I told her and just went on looking around, waiting for my friend who was just changing it back. Next thing I know, I hear shouting in the front of the store. So like a few others, I slowly walk towards the noise to see what's going on. It was the same Russian lady screaming her lungs out at the poor new cashier, who only started a few weeks ago and was in training to replace my friend. This lady was screaming because she wanted to buy two cases of water with a coupon she had. This coupon would have given her those two cases for 40% off, maybe saving her at most $2. But she was making a scene to the point where this new girl's eyes were already watering and this woman acted like she's losing thousands of dollars. The reason for this is her coupon expired four months prior and she didn't see the date. At one point, this woman looks around and spots me in an angry rage, basically runs to me and starts screaming. The convo goes a bit like this. That girl stupid, she does not know how to do her job. You come here and you get her away from me. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I don't work. The lady cuts me off. I'm talking now, you listen to me. And you know when I'm done, you will help me. I thought this was a big store, not some little marketplace. When I come with coupon, I want it used. Okay, but I don't work. Lady cuts me off again. What did I just say? When I talk to you, do not interrupt. At this point, some of the other employees who know me are half in shock, and some of the others who I know pretty well are trying to hold back a grin, since they know I don't work there and want to see what I will do. I came here with this coupon. As you can see, it says 40% off, and that idiot cashier is saying it's not good. May I talk? What? The coupon you are pretty much pressing against my face says valid until March 24th, 2019. Also, I don't work. Lady cuts me off for a third and final time. You are lying. If you want it, you could take it and give me the discount. But you don't want to because you are disgusting crap pig who shouldn't even have this job. She immediately takes her phone, calls her husband and in Russian starts screaming over the phone pretty much saying that I'm a moron, full of crap, my mother didn't raise me right, and that my mum and dad are probably related, so I didn't come out right. So, I am in fact Russian myself. I don't have any kind of accent because I came to America when I was two years old, but I was still raised in Russian and am fluent. At this point, the stuff she was saying got me seeing a little red, so I took this lady's phone, and in Russian, said to her husband, Excuse me, but I suspect that your wife is in fact the inbred moron as she has been screaming at me for the past 5 minutes without letting me get a word in so I can tell her that I don't even work here. 
She came in the store with an expired coupon that would save her $3 and is about to commit murder because she can't read the part that says it expired four months ago. If she needs the savings so bad, maybe she should stop buying bootleg designer. It might save her the extra $3 she needs. Good luck to you in life, sir. If she is this shameless in public, God help you at home. Then I hung up the phone. Her mouth about to hit the floor, she was speechless. I think partly due to the fact that I had the nerve to do that, and the other part was because I actually understood everything she was saying and replied in Russian. I handed her the phone, reached into my pocket, took out $3 that I got back as change from buying lunch earlier in the day, and slowly dropped them on the floor in front of her face. In English I said, if you're that poor and mentally disabled, I don't mind helping, so pick it up and enjoy your water. I turned around and walked towards the door when my friend was waiting and watching in shock. I walked out with the swagger of Clooney and DiCaprio combined, knowing I just put this lady in her place better than anyone ever will. The few people that were around watching were mostly smiling. Some of the younger ones cheered me on. Just before I started writing this, I got off the phone with my friend who was texting her now ex-co-workers about this. They said after I left, this woman was in shock for a good few minutes. Her husband kept calling, but she didn't answer. She was just looking around embarrassed as, as everyone was looking at her. Then she picked up the three dollars I threw on the ground for her and slowly started walking towards the door. Do you know what most people do when they find a coupon that's expired? They take one look at it and go, ah oh, that sucks and they move on with their day. Especially if it's just over three dollars, is it really worth the stress and anxiety to make such a huge fuss over it? At what point do you just go, yeah that's not worth it? Every so often I have to go to Home Depot for parts while I'm on the job and while I'm in the plumbing parts aisle, I hear the Home Depot Master Plumber. They supposedly hire trade experienced employees to work departments there, talking with the customer about piping and water softeners. It just so happens that I work in the water conditioning business. The Home Depot employee was being a jerk to this older gentleman and ended up walking away. Customer disappointed, so I did the nice thing and walked up to this guy, told him who I was and who I worked for. Hello sir, I couldn't help but overhear you're having an issue. I don't work here but I can give you a hand. Introduce myself and my profession. Thank you. I'm having issues with my water and I don't know what system to choose. I'll be honest sir, I custom build systems and install them, but I'll help you pick out a system that should be able to meet your needs. We find a system that would at least last him a year or two. Water is bad around my parts and cheap systems go fast. As he walks away another few customers come up to me asking for assistance, with advice because they overheard me with the other guy. Note, I'm actually on my company's time right now. I helped them as fast as I could and started walking away when the actual plumber guy at Home Depot called out to me. So you must be the guy hired to replace me! No sir, I'm military so I call everyone sir and ma'am. I just felt compelled to donate some time to some neglected customers. So you're soliciting Home Depot's customers? Do I need to call the police? He got really heated. No, I just sold three of Home Depot's cheap water softeners to three neglected customers in under an hour and a half. I just did your job for you. Maybe you should stop making a scene and neglecting all of your other customers before I go and get your manager and close my business account with HD. HD plumber dude stormed off like a child. I finished gathering the materials I was lacking for the next job when the third person I helped walked back up to me and apologized cause she heard how the plumber dude was talking to me and ended up just asking for my number to have me just take care of it for her. Me being a sticky situation, I asked if I could give it to her when we were out of the store so it didn't look like I was soliciting. I checked out and walked outside, gave the lady my business number and said goodbye just until the police rolled up and started questioning me about soliciting business. I plainly stated what happened in the store and I was just trying to help some customers out. Store manager and plumber dude came out and started batting off their BS and how they have me on camera. Just when the third lady was pulling out and seen me, the plumber dude, store manager and the police outside going at it and got out of her car to back me up. While she was going at it and giving her story of HD employee disappointment, the other two people walk out with their Home Depot water softeners and thanked me for my help and waved and I waved back. The HD store manager stopped the conversation, apologized to me and told the plumber dude he was fired. I tried to stop the manager but he was ticked when he had seen that my story was solid and those customers walked out surprised and happy as could be. So yeah, that's the story. For context, I'm a 
5 foot 3 guy working on my parents deck. I'm currently in the sanding portion of the project and needed to go to a hardware store to buy more sandpaper for my palm sander. It is rather warm where I live right now, so I'm wearing a white t-shirt and a poorly maintained pair of khaki shorts. An outfit I don't care about getting destroyed. I'm shopping at a hardware store where the clerk uniform consists simply of a certain orange apron. The sandpaper is located in the same area as the paint materials. And as I start down the aisle, a very small old lady asks me to grab a paint roller for her that is just a touch too high for her to reach herself. I hand her the roller with a smile and she thanks me, and we part ways. Little did I know, there was a stereotypical Karen watching my actions from down the aisle. She was a tall, middle-aged lady with a forgettable assortment of random items thrown into her cart, and apparently decided to attempt to take advantage of my kindness I showed towards the elderly lady who wanted the paint roller. I continued down the aisle and found the sandpaper I was looking for, which I myself could barely reach while standing on my toes. After snatching down a couple sheets of sandpaper, I begin to head towards checkout, as that was all I needed. But Karen had other plans for me. She cleared her throat quite loudly, probably in my direction. I don't know, I was walking away from her. When I didn't turn around, she quickly marched over to me and tapped me on my shoulder, saying, Excuse me, I need help. I smile not wanting to start anything, as I've been on the internet enough to know what happens when one disrespects the Karen, and follow her to where she needed help. She muttered something about disrespectful employees, and I start to get a bad feeling. Can you help me get a few cans of those spray paints? was her request, pointing to the spray paint she wanted. These cans were up higher than I could reach, but based on how close her fingers were to the paints when she pointed, I'd be willing to say that she could have reached them herself. I'm sorry ma'am, but I'm too short to reach those. It looks like you could probably grab them yourself though, I respond, beginning to walk away. But you work here, it's your job to serve your customers, she yelled. If you can't reach it, go get one of those ladder things to get it for me. Those ladders are for employee use only. I could get in trouble for wheeling one over to another aisle to get the cans for you. If you really need help, I suggest finding someone who works here, who might be either tall enough to reach it themselves, or can go get a ladder for you. I indicate to an employee further down the aisle, helping someone else, who had glanced up when Karen had yelled. I turned to continue walking away, just wanting to check out my sandpaper and get home to finish the deck. That was a mistake. She practically flew over to where I was and whirled me around, screaming, How dare you respect a customer like that! I will have you fired! for not listening to your customers' demands. Entering panic mode, as I've now been attacked by a woman who is nearly a foot taller than me, I shove her away, yelling, I told you, I don't work here. If I did, I would be wearing an orange apron, and I have on a t-shirt and shorts. And I'm shorter than you? What makes you think I could get the item you wanted anyway? By this time, the other employee in our aisle has temporarily abandoned the customer he was helping, and has rushed over to our scene asking what the problem is. Your little smart ass of a worker won't get me my paints! She yelled in the poor employee's face. Ma'am, I'd be happy to reach the paint you'd like, but that young man doesn't work here. He doesn't have the apron, and he's shorter than you. How was he supposed to reach the paints that you yourself couldn't reach? The worker calmly stated. I quickly walked away while the employee had Karen distracted, and I found a checkout line furthest away from the paint section, then promptly left. I feel like the simple solution to most of these stories would be just to walk away as soon as they start to bother you, but it might be one of those like when you're in the moment, everything's happening so quickly you're like, what's going on? And you can't really think clearly, you don't think just to walk away. Because, you know, you're told that that would be rude. So you start engaging with the person, who ends up wasting your time and completely harassing you. So yeah, if you're in this situation and you have a clear head, just walk away. I have an outfit I wear on planes. It's all black and consists of a sweater that looks like a blazer and a really comfortable pair of black pants. I look sort of business-like, but it's also comfortable enough to sleep in. Turns out, in dim light on a red eye across the Atlantic, it looks somewhat like an Air France flight attendant uniform. I've been studying the French language for quite a while, and had been chatting in French with one of the flight attendants earlier in the flight, so we were on good terms. Several hours into the flight, I'm waiting patiently outside the lavatory for my turn, as my new flight attendant friend was preparing the drinks to hand out to the cabin. We were chatting again in French. 
Here comes the man from LAX. He marches straight up to me and hears me speaking French, sees me in my black uniform-esque outfit, and, understandably, mistakes me for an Air France flight attendant. Although most of the plane is attempting to nap, he demands in his loudest outdoor voice that I turn the air conditioning down because he's too cold and also wants a glass of water. Um, sorry, I don't work here, I say. He continues talking over me with more demands. I don't work here, doesn't hear me, keeps talking. I don't work here, I'm a passenger just like you. I have no ability to get you what you want. You should ask somebody who works here because I don't work here. He grumbles and walks off, complaining under his breath about service. My flight attendant friend rolls his eyes at me and laughs quite a bit. I don't think he even saw that there was an actual employee standing just around the corner from me. Flight attendant friend goes and gets him what he asked for. I go back to my seat, chuckling. Is it any surprise that the same person who would not only confuse them for an employee, also doesn't listen when they say they're not working, and is rude enough to be loud to try and wake every other passenger on the plane up? You know, some people have all the fun traits just all grouped together in a little bundle of joy, don't they? Submit your story to be read on the channel at voiceyhearstories at gmail.com and join our Voicey Veteran community at r slash voiceyhear. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode. Alright Voicey Veterans, I'll see you in the next one.